these ghostly pudding cups. So oh. all you have to do for this one is open up a mason jar, take some store-bought chocolate chip pudding, dump it out in that mason jar, and the only thing that will require a little bit of skill, I took marshmallows with a little bit of pastry glue and put these little eyes on to make little ghosts. And then when you display them and you people open up their jar, open up the lid, ah! I have scared them with the ghostly pudding. <laughs> That is ghoulishly cool, my girl. Ghoulishly and cool. And easy, easy, easy. I came up with ways that we can still celebrate Halloween at home, but with very little baking. And at this time, we're busier than we've ever been before. So store-bought is your best friend, especially when you're not the strongest of bakers. So I'm going to start us off with our edible graveyard. And nice. It really, Yeah. And it really is a store-bought chocolate cake. And then with just a whole bunch of, I call them snacktivity toppings. So I took some cookies with a little bit of black icing to make my tombstones, my rest in peace tombstones. So we did nice. that. And spill, spin my little, my little wheel here with all my toppings. This is a great thing to do with kids. This is a great thing to do. Very last minute, someone, you know, stops by. We have worms because why wouldn't you have worms coming out of your of graveyard? Of course, in the mud. Of course you do. A little edible pumpkins, little it googly like, eyes. It looks like it looks like you might have had a couple of your gravestone Milanos there, though. <laughs> uh, I did. <laughs> I got a little hungry. It's hard being a Karate Kid. <laughs> uh, so I, I love that you got pumpkins, bit. pumpkins, worms, all kinds of creepy stuff in all your graveyard. That is brilliant. And and all store-bought, and you could just have fun decorating it. You'll be the hit at the thing. This year, we celebrated my 15-year in business, and then COVID hit. And I said to my team, okay, let's forget everything we ever knew about gathering like, we're, like we normally did, and what could we do? And so we decided that we were going to bring the party into your home. So um, we learned everything we could about frozen food and how to package it, how to make it. I got my PhD in packaging and, and freezing food. And I'm really excited that we're going to be launching the first Love Mary frozen food collection from my heart to your home. 